So hey there YouTube, so this is how to make a uh, hovercraft. So things you'll need are a styrofoam plate, two wooden blocks to mount your motors. Uh, you'll also need three motors like this and uh, three matching propellers that will fit on the motors. Uh, you'll also need a lithium battery or a home phone battery. You'll also need a RC car transmitter and receiver, something like this. And you'll also need a plastic cup, a plastic bag of any sort, and uh, electrical tape, and the transmitter that comes with the receiver. Okay, so the first step is to uh, take your cup and place it in the center of the plate, and then trace around it with a marker. Alright, so once you traced around the cup, now you want to cut uh, that circle with your pocket knife. Okay, so I kind of forgot to mention it, but you kind of want to cut that circle a little bit smaller than the diameter of the cup. So the cup could just be like sitting right on top. It'll just be easier to like tape it on. Okay, so once you cut it out like this, you want to um, cut your cup like somewhere around this line here. I'll show you on the next clip. Okay, so once you cut it out like this, uh, you want to tape it right on right on the hole that we just cut. Okay, so once you taped uh, electrically taped um, the plastic cup around the styrofoam plate, you can also add some more support from the inside. Okay, so the next step is to take one of your motors and solder in two wires to the two leads and you probably want to add a switch that I forgot to mention at the beginning of the uh, video um, to control the motor and then you want to probably get a straw or a stick or something to put uh, right over here and glue the motor to it I'll show you after okay so this is how you want it to look like so the motor and then the uh, switch in series with the motor and then we'll connect that to the battery okay so you want to take your straw and just glue it onto the two sides of the bottom of the plate like that and then you want to glue the motor right over here in the middle Okay, so the next step is to uh, place your plastic bag below the styrofoam plate and then you could draw like a circle with a marker around the plate onto the uh, plastic bag and then cut like uh, the bag a little bit bigger than that circle so you could still mount it on the sides of the styrofoam plate. Okay, so once you have cut the circle to the size of the plate but a little bit bigger, you can now um, tape the sides of the circle to the styrofoam plate. Okay, so once you have electrically taped around the plate, you want to make some holes at the uh, back of the plate on the plastic bag to let air out. Okay, so to make the holes, you just make like a small uh, hole with a pencil and then you can just cut around it with uh, scissors and then you could just put some tape around it so it doesn't get bigger and do it around the motor just like that okay so to mount the motors all you have to do is take those blocks I needed to use like two for each one because my propellers would touch the styrofoam so you just stack two with some glue gun and then you just glue gun the motor to the blocks like that uh, I think it will work better if they're a little bit on an angle. And then to mount the receiver, uh, you just like put a little bit of glue gun, and then you could just use a straw for the antenna, and then glue gun the straw as well. Okay, so to connect the final motor uh, to the battery, because we already added the switch, so you just connect it right to the battery, and then we'll just turn that on, and it'll uh, take off, and then you just connect it to the receiver of the battery.
and then we could just put some a little bit of electrical tape. Okay, and we're done. So all we have to do is now turn it on and turn on the two motors. Okay, thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.